Alright, I'm doing another video blog. I uh, discovered something very unique about these Hasbro's. I was uh, going through trying to find another one of these special six pin switches because how I wired my Hasbro's. And while messing around, I accidentally discovered something something very useful with these Hasbro boards. The uh, switch isn't just, you know, it, it, it is a switch, but I found out by accidentally touching one of the switch wires to the ground, it went off when I had the batteries in. I forgot to take the batteries out. Anyway, it went off, scared the crap out of me, and uh, I quickly realized that it touched the ground. And uh, so I wired the switch up to be on the ground instead of on the hot like I normally do. I put the switch on the ground so it could also trigger the Hasbro board. I've got the uh, Hasbro switch on the uh, same end that the LED is on. So when I hit the uh, little switch here, Very nice. It'd be nice if I could find a, a switch. It's like a really hybrid switch. It uh, would have at least four leads on it, and it's got a momentary and an on, on off. But yeah, that's too much. To, that that's too much trouble just for Hasbro. I'll go uh, get a uh, Ultra Force. But I thought that was a little odd, just how I did, accidentally discovered that the uh, Hasbro switch was just basically. A trigger switch. It was just pretty much uh, hitting the ground, and it triggers it to turn on somehow. And uh, so this other switch wire, if you can, you mess around with it, touch both of them to the ground. Whichever one sets it off is one you can use. But the other one is just basically ground. So instead of using this big bulky four-pin connector, I swiped off the motherboard. I used this more smaller fan connector, which is much more convenient. And uh, I can use much better switches now. I don't have to be looking around for those cheapy, cheapy quality made Radio Shack ones, which fell apart the, within the first five minutes of my saver, or getting these from Power Supplies, which is well in the process of doing. And I discovered that. And I had this one from when I bought my my lightsaber. is one of the switches from the custom saber shop. A little on-off clicky-click switch. It's a uh, much better quality. I just thought that was a little interesting. I'll be making some, uh, I'll be redoing my schematic and be posting that. And, uh, tell them, I hope you've enjoyed.